Hello everyone, uh, welcome to this tutorial. In this tutorial, we will learn about the test case studio. So let's begin. As a QA or the test engineer, we have some basic tasks which we need to perform on the daily basis. For example, we need to create a test cases. We need to report the bugs. We need to reproduce the bugs. We also need to communicate with the development team and we need to explain the bugs to the development team so that they can resolve those bugs and also in some cases we also need to document the application how application works and that documentation will be utilized at some point as a requirement document as well so all of these things take some time and test case studio will help you to be more productive by you know generating the test cases you can quickly report the bugs you can quickly reproduce the bugs it will be very easy while you're explaining the bugs to the development team and also it will be very very easy to generate a document of your application it will also help the automation team to develop their scripts quickly so let's jump into the test case studio and see how it will help now in browser uh, search for the selector sub here and go to this selector sub official website here click on this one and it will land on the main page and here you will find all the tools offered by the selector sub and here you will find the test case studio just click on this one and this is basically a browser extension we need to add this extension into our browser and then we will use that extension right so this is really simple some details are already provided here how to use it video tutorials already already provided why we need to use test case studio so what we will do is that we'll simply go here i'm using chrome right now just click on chrome so that we can install this extension here and just click on add to chrome add extension and once it will be added you will see that extension here and let me go to my extensions here and here you will see that test case studio pin this one here so that you can find this one here on the bar and now uh, it is really easy to use this one simply uh, what we need to do is that whenever we start some application we just click on this one and this will open this window here and it will automatically start this one and you will see that click to stop the recording then we have set attribute we will talk about this one later we can delete all the recorded steps and we have some different options available here so by default what happens is that whatever you perform on your application it will create your test case here right so let me start with here very basic thing let's go with google.com and here let's uh, search for testing funder and just go to this testing funder website and click on selenium web driver what it will do is that it will automatically record those steps so if i go back here you will see that it automatically captures all the steps which I performed on the browser and if you see this layout it is pretty much very very closer to what we write as a test case like steps one step two step three and step four so that's that's how actually we write the test cases and simply um, here you find the X path test data expected result screenshots so you will get all the data here so you don't need to explicitly write the test case simply go to the application open this recorder record this application and you're good to go in some cases it might not capture the step we can add those steps here just click on this plus button and you can write a, a step here so i'm typing as adding new step can write the test data here so test data here expected here is that for example new tab should be added and that's it 
and now what we can do is that simply click on this test case right and it will export your test case in the csv format and also you see that we got some zip here so let me pause the recording here first and in the zip folder basically you you will get all the screenshots because it will capture the screenshots one by one so let me show you this was the first step we performed and it says open the website then click on search then we search for testing funder and then we clicked on this testing funder and finally we clicked on the selenium web driver right so all these steps are recorded here and this, this is the beauty of using the test case studio and let me uh, open this file here uh, this is let me extract the file extract the file here and let me show you this file after after extracting the folder you will get those images here in the same way which we downloaded from there and we also uh, downloaded the csv file if i go back to my downloads here so this is a csv which got downloaded in terms of my test cases here so if i just set the data here a bit and you will get all the details here right so this is my test steps this is my test data expected result xpar css so all the details you will get in terms of your test cases here now let me go back here and if you don't want the screenshots just toggle this off and now if i click on the test case you will see that uh, we got this csv file so you, so while recording you don't you, you have to toggle back right and uh, you'll see that uh, we can provide the expected result all fields are editable you can update those fields here so here uh, let me write as ex my expected is that uh, for example google home page should open successfully right and you can also add the xpath css selectors and these selectors are basically helpful when you are automating your test case so these are also providing the locators as well so you can just copy and we have we can individually copy all the columns here so if i copy this one so it will copy this corner if i want to copy the data so you can individually copy that data as well and if you want to remove any step simply remove this one and here you see more information in terms of your operating system you can copy this data from here and you can utilize this one now our first task was to write a test case it will help uh, to generate the steps automatically we just need to modify a bit and export your test case so it will be very efficient way second way uh, the problem of reporting the bugs right so in while reporting the bugs we need a steps we need a screenshots right so you export this one and whatever the tool you are using like jira or any bug management tool just provide this details copy and paste and you are done with the reporting third thing is that while reproducing this bug tomorrow if you want to reproduce this bugs you know exact steps with the screenshots as well and these steps and screenshots will be very helpful for developer as well because it clearly says that what exactly we have performed on the web application like where we go where we search and against each step we have a screenshots as well so it solves all your problem and finally and obviously uh, if i need to create a documentation from this one simply i will copy this data and i will be creating a document as well like on the first step i copy the steps from here i will copy the screenshot from here i will open my document or presentation where i need to document i will provide the step attach the screenshot then the step so it will also help us to create the user manuals user guides and we will convert that into a documentation or the requirement and here 
if we want to clear all the records recorded steps just click on this one so it will be clear again and this information here is telling us about the, from where we executed this one this is very very important thing because developer need this information from which operating system we got the bug which browser we were using which browser version we were using which resolution we were using right so this information is really helpful for developer and you just need to copy and provide this information and furthermore uh, if you want to have a selenium driver commands here while recording this one simply what we will do is that toggle this one and let me show you here so let me close this one here and let me go to the browser here and now let me toggle this command this time and you will see that it will generate a driver dot find element commands while recording the test here so simply i will click the start here and again i will go for google.com and here let me search for testing funda let me enter go to testingfunda.com and let me again this time let me create on postman so while clicking on some uh, on the any button on link you will find a red block here as well so let me go here and let me pause this one and let me export this one from here and this time let's see what happens so we have the here which recorded in the form of so you know uh, driver dot find element this is what we do as a selenium automation engineer driver dot find element so you get the whole command from here right and what uh, what else you can do is that if you want to continue the recording here you will click the recording again here and go back and let me click the geometry this time then manual testing then cypress and that's it this is what i want to do and you will see that those steps are automatically appended here right so simply stop this one and export the tests again and let me open this one so here you will see that it automatically added the new steps for you right so that's uh, how you can get the benefit of uh, you know using the test case studio it has some multiple benefits it will help you to you know write the test cases efficiently report the bugs efficiently reproduce the bugs create the documentation user guides manuals it will be helpful for the development team because it provides a lot of information in order to debug the issue so and also uh, you can execute these steps in the english as a code Thank you so much for watching this tutorial. If you like our content, then do like, comment, share and subscribe our channel. Once again, thank you so much and see you in the next tutorial.